Hello everyone. In this video, we will continue our journey of exploring the features of the best WordPress LMS plugin, Master Study. Now, I will demonstrate how to set up the Zoom integration with our plugin and together we're gonna create engaging meetings in our course builder. Right now, I've logged in the system as administrator and the first thing that I need to do is to enable Zoom conference add-on from our master study plugin settings. In that case, let me go to WordPress dashboard first. And from master study elements, I'm gonna search for add-ons. Here it is. Make a note of that, Zoom conference add-on is a pro add-on, which means that you need to be pro or pro plus member to use it. And before enabling this button, make sure that you set up your SSL settings in your website, because without SSL, Zoom conference add-on will not work. So let me enable it and go to settings. By the way, Zoom conference add-on works with our different plugin called eRoom. It's a free plugin, so we can install it by clicking this button. Wait, we have successfully installed the plugin, call it eRoom. And the next thing that we need to do is to generate some credentials from Zoom Marketplace. We're gonna generate server-to-server -server auth credentials and meeting SDK credentials. But we will not use JVT, which is JSON Web Token Credentials, because Zoom is deprecating their JVT app from June 1 of 2023. And end of the life for JVT apps is September 1st of 2023. And after this time, you cannot use JVT. Great, in that case, let me open new tab and I'm gonna search for Zoom Marketplace. Here it is, the first one, marketplace.zoom.us. I'm gonna sign in with Google. Great, I've successfully signed it in. And on the top right corner, here you can see there is a drop down, and I'm gonna click on build app. And here is the list of app types, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this server to server auth, and we're gonna create server to server app. Let me write down app name, server to server app. And these are the app credentials that we need to copy and paste to our plugin. Do not forget to save settings. Great, settings are changed. And to make this app work, we need to fill the rest of the selections, which are information, feature, scopes, and actuation. In that case, let me go ahead and continue. To the information sections, we need to provide information about short description, company name, and the developer contact information, which is the name of our developer, and email. So let me quickly fill out these fields. Let me go ahead and continue. We're gonna skip feature section. And here we need to add some scopes, so let me go ahead and add scopes. Uh, for the meeting, I'm gonna put a tick to view and manage some accounts user meetings, view all user meetings, and view and manage all user meetings. For webinar, I'm gonna put a tick to view and manage sub accounts user webinars, view all user webinars, and view and manage all user webinars. For recording, I'm gonna choose all of the options. For the user also, I'm gonna choose all of the options. In total, we have added 12 scopes. So let me click on done and continue. And by clicking this button, I'm gonna activate my app. Great, app successfully been activated. And the next uh, thing that we need to do, uh, we're gonna create meeting SDK credentials. Meeting SDK credentials is important if you want to use join in browser meetings. So let me go back to the marketplace and I'm gonna go back to build app. And we're gonna create meeting SDK app. I'm gonna write down a name and let me disable this toggle and go ahead and create the app. For the information section, 
we need to fill short description field, long description field, company name, and the last one is developer contact information. The rest of the fields are optional to fill. So let me quickly fill these fields. Let me go ahead and continue. We're gonna skip download section. And when it comes to app credentials, I need to quickly copy this client ID and client secret to my plugin. Let me go ahead and paste them. Do not forget to save settings. Great. To redirect URL for auth field, we need to copy and paste this URL address, this one. So I'm gonna copy it. And let me go back to full screen mode again and I'm gonna paste it here like this to the auth hello list I'm gonna write down the domain of my website to make our connection secure so let me delete the rest of the URL and here is the my domain great let me go ahead and continue we're gonna skip feature section and scope section also and here is the time to add our app I'm gonna put a tick here and click on hello. Great, if you see this kind of a screen, it means that you have successfully connected your Zoom account to our eRoom plugin. And the next thing that we need to do, we need to specify the host to each and every one of the, our instructors. So it's the website administrator's responsibility to choose and select the host. If you forget to select some host to some of the instructors, he or she will not be able to create Zoom meetings in the course builder. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go to users. And here is the list of my users and I'm gonna select one of my instructors. Let's select this and go ahead and edit. If I scroll down at the bottom here you can see there is zoom.us settings and there is a drop down menu that we need to select a host. I'm gonna select one of them. Right now I have only one host and after selecting the host I'm gonna update user. And as the website administrator, I need to also specify the host to the rest of the users. Let me go back to users list. And for the for this folder instructor, I'm gonna also specify the host. I'm gonna go down and select the host and update the user. And you also need to apply the same uh, settings to the rest of the instructors. Um, but if you want to add some host, I mean different hosts, right now we have only one of them, yeah? We need to go back to our plugin and uh, from the users we can check the uh, list of the host. Here we can see there is only one host right now and here is the special um, section which is called add user. We can use it to add users. You can just um, indicate the action which is create, how to create, cost and SSO create. Here is the brief descriptions of them and you need to indicate email, first name, last name of the instructor and the user type. Please note for each instructor on the website the admin should specify the host. Multiple instructors can be applied to the same host if you have a free Zoom account with only one host available. In that case, those instructors can add and conduct video sessions themselves, but they can stream conferences at the same time. Time. If there are many instructors and there is a possibility of having conferences at the same time, you need to purchase a premium Zoom plan with a bigger number of hosts. Great, I think we have successfully set up one of our instructors and right now I'm gonna log out the system and I'm gonna log in as instructors. We'll see how we can add Zoom lessons in our course builder. Now I've logged in a system as instructor and let me go to courses. And I'm gonna edit Graphic Design Basics Masterclass course with Course Builder. And let's assume the end of the section 2, which is at the Photoshop Basics, there will be an online Zoom session by some senior designer. Let me go ahead and add lesson and the learning content will be Zoom lesson. 
and to here I'm gonna indicate the uh, Zoom lesson name, uh, meeting password, start date and start time of the meeting, lesson duration and the time zone. Uh, be careful once you select the time zone. And here is the bunch of uh, toggle buttons that you can enable or disable, which are the settings of the meeting, Zoom meeting. Lesson front end description, lesson content and lesson materials. Uh, you need to fill them as usual. So let me quickly fill these fields. Great. Lesson successfully created. And let me log out and log in as some student. Let's see how it looks to students. Now I've logged in a system as student and let me go to enroll at courses. And here is the course that we have modified, which is Graphic Design Basics Master Class. And from the curriculum, I'm gonna find Master Class by Senior Designer. So let me open it. And here is a new meeting created. You can see how much time left till the meeting and the meeting title and the date of the meeting. You can also add some reminders to Google Calendar or iCall Export. And here you can see the password of the meeting. You can join the meeting with browser or with Zoom app. And right now we are done, I guess. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Feel free to leave any questions or comments about the plugin below. We value your feedback. Let us know if there are any specific videos you'd like to see. Thank you for your support.